Well, hello again from Kingston. It's been an exciting week from my standpoint. You might notice a thicket of light and traffic signal poles behind me, and that's just one part of the story. To hear the full tale, please keep watching to the end and look out for Wiley Coyote. We'll begin this week with the return on Wednesday, just after nine o'clock, perhaps for the last time, of the big red trucks from Decast Limited. They delivered a total of 54 concrete deck slabs on two trucks. After careful rigging, they were quite quickly lifted onto the causeway. As you watch this lift, just bear in mind the total weight of these nine slabs is about 18 metric tons. It was easier to place the slabs accurately on the ground by moving the truck rather than the crane. The process was safely and successfully completed for all seven stacks of slabs. and the two trucks had departed for Utopia by just after midday. Allowing no grass to grow under their feet, it was noted that the very next day, the crew were lifting the foam strips that underlay the slabs onto the deck. Discussions about the task began early on Friday. Careful placement of the strips took place Throughout the day, a spray adhesive is applied to each girder before the strip is placed. So significant was the progress that looking beyond the east abutment on Friday afternoon, you could see that the first slab had been laid as you watch, remember, each slab is uniquely marked and has a specific location on the bridge. All in all, an auspicious start to work on this final span of the bridge. But now it's time to turn our attention to those traffic light poles we mentioned in the introduction. A talented team from Black and MacDonald have been busy all week installing the signals that will serve the intersection permanently. Working from a bucket lift, wires have to be run, arms have to be attached, and then finally the signals themselves are placed. Then, with everything covered to avoid confusion with the temporary signals, the lights are left to await introduction into service in a week or so. Traffic lights are not the only signals to be installed. There are also pedestrian lights and lights to control bicycles. We're going to turn our attention back to spans 20 and 21, where on Tuesday it was noticed that brackets to hold pipe were being installed. And sure enough, on Thursday, we saw the familiar gray drain pipe with inlets lowered onto the brackets. Span 20 was busy all week with deliveries of lumber and a team building the temporary walkways that make it possible to work more safely and securely. After weekend snow, the east abutment was still tarped on Monday. But on a very sunny Thursday, whilst the drain pipe was being installed on span 21, work began on the abutment to remove the forms 
and frames that had assisted curing cure. Before long, the wheeled crane from C.A. Peters appeared to start removing equipment. This included the heaters that had performed sterling service and the fuel cell that supplied them. Steady progress was made and on Friday morning this was the situation. The efforts to clear up were wide-ranging and involved much equipment actually being transported away. By mid-afternoon, a substantial number of the inside forms had been removed. and only one or two remained in place. We can't leave the East End without remarking that in a quiet and professional manner, Link Line effectively completed the fence on Gore Road this week. They will return to install a lower section once the roadway to the abutment is complete. On the West End, and particularly around the west abutment, there's been activity all week. Clearly, this is a critical feature of the bridge, and everything has to be absolutely correct. The various tasks demand the highest craftsmanship. A number of test fits took place during the week. This is how things looked going into the weekend. A great deal of work this week has also taken place in the West Laydown, where preparations are being made to clear it out to allow work to begin on the connection to Montreal Street and John Counter. Looking at this shot, the effort has been pretty successful, but managing equipment while engaging in that new activity is going to be a little bit like doing a jigsaw puzzle. Let's go to wildlife this week with a look at a snow-covered east end, hopefully for the last time this year. And don't forget to look out for Wily Coyote. and a little easter egg beyond the wildlife. Where, from my standpoint, it's been a very slight. So keep watching to hear it to. Ouch! 
Well, there you have it. Another week behind us. The clocks went forward last weekend. The pace has quickened. And if you want to keep up to date, please keep watching the videos and consider subscribing. Thanks again. Bye for now.